Hello, this is Real Juicy News, and I am your host, the Couch Camera, and today we are looking at a fairly new Linux operating system said to be from New Zealand called Linux Lite. Linux Lite is free for everyone to use and share and suitable for people who are new to Linux or for people who want a lightweight environment that is also fully functional. Linux Lite provides a basic collection of everyday tools, a web browser, an email client, a media player, an office suite, an image editor and so on. To get the best possible start to using Linux Lite, browse through the information below. We are only running it from a USB stick, so we haven't installed the updates, the drivers set a restore point, or language support, or a selected dark or light theme, or any other option, available option here. So let's have a look at it. As we said, we haven't installed it yet, but here's the desktop icon. And as with any other or many other Linux operating systems, you can go into the settings, go to desktop, change your background, wallpaper. There's quite a few here, some quite dark themes, some quite colourful and bizarre. We just chose the simple bright background of the ocean scene, or an ocean scene. So on the desktop here it has this PC, user folder, control panel settings, As like all the other Linux operating systems, you have basically the same thing, same options, power manager, you can set it to not shut down halfway through installation, or go blank, etc. You can stop the screen saver from going to some random one while you're also installing. That can be annoying. And the good thing about this, when we looked at the firewall configuration, it'll enable it. It'll do it automatically. Not like the other Linux operating systems. You have to like set it, and then it doesn't look like it gonna sit in the tray or something like that you know show the status it's enabled you can disable it if you wanted to simply close it okay your appearance your desktop you can go into icons make them bigger or smaller, we decided to make them smaller, they look too damn ugly, big. You can choose what to add on your desktop, home folder, trash, removable devices, There's your menus, your backgrounds, and you just close it, and it should appear on your desktop, just arrange it, put it in order if you wanted to. Take a screenshot, open a terminal, create a folder, create a document, create a link, create a launcher, applications. It's pretty good so far. During this this creation of this video, we actually went into multimedia and found that there was nothing there that we could record a video or edit the video and so forth. 
so what we did was we went to package manager had a look for what we wanted search for what we wanted found it uh, okay let's say we wanted this game OAD 0 AD so we basically mark it okay mark for installation and then there's an option where you can apply it and then install it we're not going to do that because we don't want that game this is just a video demonstration of Linux Lite okay. here's a help that help manual that you saw that we read up here's your home ok this is different Linux Lite help manual tells you to start here you can update etc etc it's not very pretty looking install it, use your network options, desktop icon to show if your internet is actually up and running, there's your volume, go in there and adjust the settings if you need to, okay. playback, recording, output, input, configuration. You may find that when you do a video testing it and you create a video you have no sound you have to go in there because it's only got um, uh, VLC we don't use it much because it's unreliable one minute it'll play one minute it won't then the next day it will so when you're recording a video with a simple screen recorder if you're a newbie this is the easiest one you'll just go back through it and look for webcam volume if you want to re if you're recording through the webcam you set your set your set that and you sort of get the sound or else you're going to get a video play it through VLC and it's going to be no sound so let's have a look at the menu recently used all applications PDF viewer, photo manager, pictures, power manager, etc. Screensaver, screenshot. Spreadsheets. Uh, it's good that it's not using, um, by the looks of it, it's not using LibreOffice, which, if you scan it with something like Clam TK, it might come up indicating that there's poors, not potential, not, not pickup artists, but potentially unwanted applications and malware or Trojan threat. System restore utility, just in case something goes wrong. Task manager, probably to um, stop a program from running if it's hogging. RAM, time and date, you can change the time and date whatever country you're at. This is good, it's got USB image writer, stick formatter, web browser, probably um, Firefox. Not too sure if it's going to be like version 98 or something like that, so have a look. See what it gives you. Okay, it automatically goes to Google. Let's have a look at the settings. We've messed around with the settings inside there, but his help about Firefox okay. 96 that's not too bad you just upgrade to 99 if you need to you just go in here change the settings you can always go in there and find add-ons okay. the usual uh, thing you do with Firefox when you install the system, secure it. Okay, so you've got favorites, installed updates, help manual, recently used, all applications, my computer, 
that's where all your files are, your downloads, your pictures, your documents, etc. Settings, Bluetooth, Bluetooth adapters, firewall, accessories, calculator, USB image right hand formatter, application finder, archive manager, graphics, looks like you got GIMP, photo manager, document scanner, if you got a scanner I guess, uh, internet, web browser, network connection support, mail client, probably Thunderbird or something, multimedia, CD, DVD burner, pretty light, basics, these are word processors, spreadsheets, PDF view, etc. If you want to read an ebook, in your system, package manager terminal, system restore, system info, process viewer, printers, if you uh, want to connect a printer to this, to your system, and what else do we have down here in the tray? Okay, there's your date, your time, or your time, there's your volume, your Wi-Fi, it's probably a uh, photo screen or simple screen recorder, What's this? minimize all open windows and show the desktop, Firefox, file manager, browser file system, terminal, XFCE terminal, photo screen, yeah so it's pretty basic, if you like it, get it free from distrowatch.org there's be a there'll be a link to the website that you can get it from download it it's only about 1.2 gigabytes so yeah just get a 2 gigabyte USB stick install it on there using the uh, USB disk formatter uh, USB disk formatter and writer and shut down your machine and then test it and if you like it you can install it and use it so overall out of 10 yeah I would say it's very light it's very good there's no problems with it doesn't come with everything you'd have to use a package manager to download the basics like a video creator or recorder player an editor and something like focus screen if you're going to use your webcam so if you like this little short video please subscribe to our channel add your comments give us a like share it with others say well this is a really great free Linux operating system and yes it truly is really light we give it a 9 out of 10 well we'll give it an 8 out of 10 at this point going on to a 9 it's great not too impressed with the background wallpapers but hey there are some good ones in there so yeah if you like this video subscribe to our channel Add your comments, we'll get back to you on them as soon as we can. Give us a like and share it with your friends. Tell them all about us, or juicy news, and the couch camera. And that they brought you this, this short video on this free, great Linux operating system.